Summary, this was efficacious. It was shown to be efficacious over a 12-week period with statistically significant results in both groups. It was shown to be tolerable. It was shown that there was no systemic uh, side effects, which is good. And over a 12-week period, they've achieved all these results in a very quick time. You know, it's a few months. So what are my thoughts on this as a hair loss doctor? Well, I think one, it's encouraging. I think it's great, as I said, that you can have a topical application uh, either done daily or twice weekly, which is fantastic. And you can achieve very good results. You know, these are good results. If these have not been tampered with these photos and uh, as they are unedited, well, then that's really encouraging to see that there is a drug out there that does not reduce DHT levels, does not change hormones, and has led to good hair coverage, improvement in hair count, in androgenic alopecia. I think that's fantastic. What are, however, the limitations? The limitations from my view is that it's a 12 week study. This is going to be a drug that is gonna have a lifetime of use. So we want to know how has this drug worked on patients over a 12 month period plus? You know, is there been any tolerability issues? Has there been any side effect issues? Has there been any absorption systemically? Do you get a build up of it in the system over time? Like you can with finasteride and dutasteride and some of these other drugs? Is it something that we need to be worried about that, okay, once you treat for more than say six months, things start to change either from an efficacy or a safety perspective. So we want to have more time with this topical drug treating more people uh, to get a better understanding around exactly how effective it is and exactly how tolerable and safe it is.